Do it one more time. All right. Mm-hmm. We are starting this off episode 12, 12. of the Boo, Boo Bread podcast. podcast. All right. Oh, I'm going to get me a pillow. Let you start it off. Grand Rising. So we took two weeks off because there's just been a lot going on. Um, our wonderful host. No, I have one. This is one. Our wonderful host, one, Umir. Uh, he went traveling and was out clubbing and all types of crazy shit. No, he wasn't. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Barely even but, left the house. But I didn't even go was, to a dispensary in California. He was out and about. And uh, yeah, life has just been a little bit more. I know that like the pace has been picked up a little bit more for the last two weeks. So yeah, we kind of had to, not by choice, not upload. But anyways, we're back. And we're back with content and stories and all that jazz. How are you doing today? Today I'm doing good. Yesterday I was blasted on the edible, so um, that was fun. Was also, yes, I, I cut off my hair, Britain style. <laughs> now it's just you know, it just, you know what happens as a woman. Sometimes you just like want to. You go through these phases where you want to like. You know, start over or like cut shit off. You want to try something different. I don't know. Whatever. It's here. And, I, and I, for the record, I was like against the short cutting hair. And at this point, I don't even notice that she cut her hair to be. It doesn't even like matter. Like it doesn't exist. Like no lie, I barely notice this shit. Like I, I don't. <laughs> like I don't even notice the difference. Like I don't. I just looks like to me. My brain just goes. It's tied up somewhere. Oh, she's okay, like yeah, hit it. Yeah, like my brain up, just. Yeah. My brain just goes like, it's hidden there. You know, girls do this and then all the hair comes out. Like, (laughs) she's going to keep doing this for like two, three months and all the hair is going to come out and her neck's going to hurt. Yo. Does your neck feel lighter? Yo, honestly. Is it the wind hitting here? Yeah. Like, I'm outside and I'm like, oh, nah. Like, I can feel the cold. Oh, yeah. You picked the wrong time to like get the cold. Like, I remember when I cut my beard off when I got back and I was like, yo. (laughs) Wow, it's brick. Like, it's crazy, like how much more intense you can feel the cold when you have less here in the. Did back. pick the wrong time to like really cut it short. It's though. pretty like, cool though. You would have like, done it in the summer. It would have been a little true. easier on you. That's true. That's true. That is very true. But I'm like, whatever it is, what it is. I mean, I didn't really want short, like super short hair for the summer. Like by the summertime, it's gonna be a little bit longer. So it is what it is. Whatever. But anyways, yes, shit, shit is good. Shit is chilling. We healthy. We out here. We're still in the middle of middle of the demic. Uh, so, you know, shit, shit's still weird and up in the air, but it looks like shit is starting to start to open up more. I mean, I know from my, from my end, my job is talking about opening up like ASAP. So shit's about a uh, movie theater opened up. My boy is yeah, back at shit, the movie theater. Yeah, so. Um, he's working over there yeah. and, um, <coughs> I think it's just going to become like one of those things, like a TSA thing where you got to take your shoes off at the airport mm-hmm. when there's nobody been like bringing the shoe bomb ever yeah. in so long. And then plus they make you go through this like x-ray machine yeah. that would pick up on your shoe if it had a fucking bomb in it or something yeah. like. You know what? You know what? Like shit like this that ends up. Man, who's this guy still trying to get in with the shoe bomb? Yo, you know Don't what? think he's be like, that's ah, kind of outdated or he's just sitting back like. Plotting the day they drop the shoe thing. Uh, I swear Yo, to the day they but, drop. But you know what I've been thinking about? Been waiting on this like, shoe thing for like 10 I, years. I detach myself from everything that goes in society. I'm like, every year, it's like, you just get more and more like something new to, 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 I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm trying to like, how to put this into words right now. I can't articulate what I'm trying to say. But it's like, every year it's like, oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, sanitize you and make sure that you're i don't you know what we'll forget it because I, I like i have this concept in my head of what i'm trying to say but it's not coming out so i'm gonna just walk away from this anyways <laughs> Moving we on. went nowhere i know it just wasn't coming through clear it was you know what it is no i know what i want to say but it's not as funny and i know it's not as funny so i don't want to waste y'all time even though i'm wasting y'all time right now and your time right the fuck now but I'm walking away from it now. All right, no, moving on. We're not wasting no time. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, it's just like the shoe thing. It's just gonna, it's just gonna stay, stay there, right? Yeah. It's gonna be like pointless. Like it's, it's just gonna be a thing where you wear your mask, get into the airport. Once you in, you take it off. At this point, like twenty years from now, you're gonna have to be in a bubble anywhere you walk. Yeah, like, so- like, like, like Bubble Boy, that movie. <clears throat> 
Did you see that 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 video on the kids doing uh music in their classroom with the tents little over them? No. Yeah, so let me wow. let me show you this. Oh yeah. So is this the way of the future? Is this the way things are going to be? Now here are kids in tuba. What the? This, is, this is like, this has to be like a really rich school or something because my school never even seen a tuba. Yeah, so basically that's their uh, thingamajig that they're uh, doing. Bro, that's literally what I said, bubble boy. Like, you're going to have to be in a fucking bubble. Yeah, and, and, and by the way, like, that's some, that's some like rich rich school shit. Like, my, as that I said, is. we never we never seen a tuba. By the way, my school never even had a uh, drums like oh, it never do you had Francis Lewis had drums yeah. bro we had Home Depot buckets I'm not kidding you we Yo. had Home Depot buckets <laughs> I'm not gonna lie looked way better to perform on that than the drums what is what is a real life skill like you know what I'm not gonna lie they taught me a real life skill you could take a Home Depot bucket be at the train station <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You can't bring your drum set to the train station. I mean, you can, but no, it's work. no, it's work. like by yourself. No, I don't think you could carry the whole drum no. thing by yourself. There's that do 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 and the do do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the one of those. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot to bring, but Home Depot bucket. We had drumsticks, but no drums. This guy. <laughs> Yo, they only taught us to like play guitar, and uh. That was that was about it. We did. the only song I really knew how to play on guitar was like, "Hey there, Delilah." It was, so it was like a little two little chords and shit. That's yeah. that's what it was. And then like, yo, bro, playing guitar was like harder than trying to learn gang signs because it's because you gotta really like stick there and then you you get arthritis in the finger. It cramps up because you gotta <laughs> you're not pressing but you're pressing but you gotta. Have you ever played guitar? Yeah, I played piano more than guitar. Yeah, it was way easier than yeah. guitar. It's a lot of like just knowing where the keys yeah. are, but like yeah, nah, it was it was real like tricky to like get your finger and then ding like a little. Yeah. Sp- it, it's real like handsy in there. Yeah, like it's real it in there. Like yeah. yeah, but like I didn't really remember much. My my music music teacher used to always say like, if I die here, please drag my body outside. Why? Cause it was that bad. No, nah, he's just like he don't want to die in this school. Well, why would he say that? Because uh, like some some about like if he died in this school, but why did he even bring that up? He would just say that randomly. Yeah, like he would make jokes like that. Yeah, like if something happened, like if I die, just he's a really cool white guy. Like he's a white guy. Like he just say these the only white the only few white teachers that was in the school. You know, he was, he was cool. I don't remember his name, but I do remember like he was a cool music teacher, man. Like uh, he I fuck with him like. Mm. He was, he, was, he was cool. He was just chill. Like, we didn't, we didn't do much in that class. You know, most kids would just kind of be in the corner, like, texting and stuff on yeah. their phone. I wasn't one of them, but, like, it's just... He it, it was cool to get along with, so you mm-hmm. just kind of do the thing. And uh, like, you were a good pupil. For that class. Yeah. There was no paperwork. Everything was on the guitar. You really yeah. failed if you didn't know how to play this. There's no to, no way to cheat off of that. I kind of sure. liked it. That's pretty cool. I liked it that it was a handsy class. Yeah. Like, if you actually paid attention, you can pass it. There was no, like, memorizing, going home. Yeah. And, and then I pay, some, so something about doing paperwork made me, like, real, like, bored of this shit. You know of what I'm course, saying? Like, if it yeah. was, like, it was, like, the kids in the class, the, the ones that didn't play the, the song, like, they eventually kind of, like, ended up, like, trying to play the guitar, and then they'll pass on just an attempt. Like, mm. the teacher just wanted an attempt. He didn't really need you to, like, learn to play guitar. That yeah. was the... Like, I mean, I think that much... I mean, to pass a class, you should know how to play guitar. But I guess, like, for his, like, criteria, he was just like, it's fine. Because like, he knows not everybody's going to Yeah, not, not, not everybody's into it. They're just trying to make a credit, like, a music yeah. credit. And uh, they're just trying to keep pushing. So the kids in the back... Like, he wasn't a bad teacher. So he, if you really wasn't paying attention, he'll just kick you out. Be like, okay. you just get out of here. Yeah. Uh, if you was really going to stay on your phone. Mm-hmm. And then if you was going to pay attention in the class. Like, you could pay attention and talk and chit-chat. Like, it just... You know what I'm saying? Like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he he was he was cool. He was cool for that cool. one. Yeah. Nice. All right. So what what topics do you have on the list today? I actually saw something. Um, where there was this chick, how she basically just started making her most of her money through Instagram, and then it's I don't even know how. I don't know if it was like affiliates or sponsorships, whatever. That's yeah, just your voice be so low on this, like. 
You really How like is step because look when you're talking. Yeah. That the little the little waves that's you. The big <laughs> waves that's me talking. Well, like, this is I'm you not. Talking. Listen, I am not. No, I am. It's fine. I am. Just a, move the, I am. Just a, get listen, I am. I am, a, I am a, a ASMR type of person when I talk. Well, I'm not even close to the mic. How the hell is somebody supposed to hear? You? I don't. Too loud. You gotta whisper into the mic. I don't need. To talk loud to get my point across. Yeah, but at least you get the voice in there. Well, that's just not my normal speaking voice. It's not as big and amplified as yours, unfortunately. No, you're literally like here talking. Can you guys loud. hear me? That would have been better. <laughs> talking like that the whole time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I was watching this shorty who was talking about this shorty, and basically, shorty's like, uh, first of all, she was being like super racist online for no reason. Like she was just just doing it and then do you have like an ig or? i have a youtube video i can show you what is it uh, uh go to uh uh type in uh model five hundred thousand on food stamps it should pop up so she basically went on ig live because then people obviously starting to see how shitty of a person she actually is and oh she's an escort too by the way so she basically goes on yeah. Is she's blue or something or did nah, the blue? the shorty who's doing the the talking on her she is does like video, cosplay. Is this the video you saw? Yeah, yeah. But she's talking about the shorty, but she does like cosplay. That's her thing. So her is. name is uh, my thoughts will probably. No, that's not the girl I'm talking about. She's. This is not the video you saw though. This is the video she's talking about the shorty. So you gotta like speed it up because she's. Oh, she's she's the. Blue. the Oh, she's talking. This is her okay. thing. This is her thing on her YouTube channel. That's her promo. Keep going. Keep going. Look, let me, hold on. Let me just let me just speed up. Okay. All right. Not from her butt or her naked pics, but because she was acting a fool on YouTube because she was going to have to get a job. What some of you guys have to realize is I have no skills. I used to work at fucking McDonald's before I did fucking YouTube, Instagram, before I had 100,000 followers, before I had everything in my life. I was a fucking loser. Also, if she <laughs> saved all that money she said that she made very quick, instead of blowing it on purses and cars, she would have a lot more time to think of what she's going to do when she did lose her Instagram. I I have no skills. <laughs> and if most of your income is coming from these celebrity men or men that have a lot of money, who cares about her Instagram anyway? The way that she's talking, it sounded like she on and stopping. Probably saw the. I like so, these girls. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I, I've been like binge watching and then getting like other ideas from her because she's like really, really good with her with her thing with getting it together. So, um, but yeah, so basically. You know, what my point is, I'm like, this is the problem with the whole social media thing, Instagram, Twitter. This is the only fan thing. This is this is the problem I have. You literally can get on camera and say you have no skills. That's a problem. And a lot of these... I mean, she obviously has skills. She's just being stupid and begging for the money. She has marketing <laughs> skills, well, marketing herself <laughs> skills. She true. has them. She literally That's got true. somewhere that is with very it, true. and now they took it away, like... You know how many like weed accounts there were that get like there's there's mad weed YouTubers that keep getting like they'll get to like a million and they get deleted. They get back to a million or two million, then they get deleted again. They get back to a million. They've done it three That's times. True. That's just true. off of like smoking weed. They That's do. what she had said too. She was like, if she was like, first of all, it doesn't even matter. Just start a different account and then get it back up. Cause at this point, she already has a name on the on these streets. Like she's gonna get a following back up. I actually did a search on her. I, her I mean her shit got deleted. But there's people making like fan accounts. I'm like, bro, it doesn't matter. You could get back up in like two seconds. But the problem is that she started like Saying some like she started going off the other end where she was like, I don't like black people, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, all right, now you're going the other way. Who are we talking about again? Oh, Her, oh. yeah, she went on and then she started saying shit like that, and I'm like, what? Yeah, now you're true. fucking it up. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, now yeah. wow, you know. So uh, another person that's uh, getting caught up is um, is uh, this guy right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you remember that dude that uh that would be doing uh, a bunch of videos on IG like he pulled up to like during the pandemic to like a Burger King with Fifty Cent and shit mm, gave him like no, mad I've bread. Never seen that. No. Gave him mad bread. Jay Mazzini. No, I never seen that. It's 
So he gave Fifty Cent mad bread, or Fifty Cent gave him mad they bread. They did like a collab where they pulled up to a Burger King and they gave Burger King like a bunch of bread, like during the pandemic, like workers in Burger King. Oh, okay, okay. J. Uh, Mizini. So, uh, you ever seen this guy? No, I never seen this guy. Oh, is this the guy you showed me that went to Cali to? Oh no, no, I never seen this guy. I don't know. What is wrong with him? What's he doing? They go block him from this side. Your money, to everybody. This is so. Yo, this makes me feel so weird. No, but watch. So boom. So he had um. He basically is in trouble right now because. So he's been basically working on a way through uh, this thing, and Coffeezilla talked about it. You know what I'm saying? Look. So so basically, what he was doing, he was uh, building up his social media and everything, and he was getting known for first. He's like, as you can see, he had memes and mm -hmm. and uh, he, he did like going to Walmart. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. No, you don't even know. Even, no, it's not a prank. It's not a prank. Like, Y'all, I don't want to cry. So basically, like he's he's portrayed as this like very uh, uh very giving, giving charitable, person, charitable person, humanitarian, yeah, yeah, yeah all that, individual. Right? Okay. So he's known he's known for all of that, and um, he basically had a thing where he was getting together with mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like uh he's getting together with the mosque and all these different Muslim things and okay. stuff like that, and then, uh basically was doing like, um. Uh, like invest in this business and then you get like your fifteen percent back your money and he was gonna get fifteen percent back every month. <laughs> so basically I don't know the whole details of it, but allegedly there was like basically a lot of people gave him their money as investors and stuff and and then uh he never paid anybody back. In the beginning it was it was like oh Didn't so we watch something like this? Uh, no no this is just a Ponzi scheme. This is what yeah. Ponzi so you 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 uh you know what I'm saying? You you steal from Jack to pay Tom type stuff. You right. know what I'm saying? Like it's like, yeah. So basically in the be like so he was on paper it looked like there was there was returns because it's like you give me like ten thousand and then so fifteen hundred is like your return. Mm -hmm. So you get fifteen hundred a month. You don't get to see the ten thousand, you just see the fifteen hundred, then you put the fifteen hundred back in. You know what I'm saying? So you what you do is you take the fifteen hundred, you put it back in with your initial investment, so you make more money every month. So you, you know what I'm saying? So, but okay. when people want to pull out their money, that's when everything becomes a problem. So it was going, but then I guess it well, like people were trying to get their money out and stuff like that. People weren't getting paid, and he's ignoring the calls. And then eventually, what happened was like he like some some amount of like millions of dollars. He was like, I was just on my pay to pay you guys back. He put. Millions of dollars in a duffel bag in cash, hopped in his truck and said he apparently got robbed at gunpoint. And uh, when they, when now there's like a whole lawsuit and everything, I think all types of stuff going on with the lawyers and stuff. And now they're, now he, they're like, wait, why did he um have this much money in cash on him, right? Why would you carry that much of cash? His defense is like, well, I deal with a lot of big money all the time. So it was a very casual thing. And so what he's doing is just extending the period of time to pay back and everything. So now he's saying, I'll, I'll pay back that millions of dollars that I lost uh, in like six, seven months. I make that like double every year. Like, it's fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, things like that. Now he's like super in trouble with, with the whole thingamajig with yeah. that. So it just goes to show, man, like that's what he's doing. He's taking all, like, so now when he actually, when people like see, like the people that have invested, they see him give money on IG or all this stuff that they're watching and they're like, this is my money. Like, this is my money. Like, and we don't know if the, the cash he gives people is a fully 100% valid cash. You don't really know that. You, you know don't. what I'm saying? That's not have been, that hasn't been said. But let's say some guy comes up and gives you like a stack of 20s, right? Nah. You go home, you find out, like, to be honest, like two of them are real. Like, let's just say even you put the time to even like look at them if yeah. they're real. If a new dude's doing an IG video, you're like, oh, he's doing this, he must be real, whatever. You're going to take the cash and go home. Like, let's just try to try it out if it's, if it's not real. Like, I don't really think a lot of people are going to go, oh, he gave me fake money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. they'll be like, what are 220 in there? You're just going to be like, whatever. Like, I'm going to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Let's say if this works or not. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if 
I you don't really know and stuff like that. So it's also these there uh, he's doing things with like, I think it was like different businesses. So he was basically like working with other dudes with some money laundering and stuff too. There was like a whole lot of things going on, because like always behind these like influencer people, they always get like. Either they try to either scam a bunch of people through it, or there's people that are behind them that are trying to scam other people through the person. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to be like very uh, careful with what what people are doing and stuff like that. It's like immediately anytime I see videos of somebody doing that, hey, you want what? I don't trust it. I'm like, no, 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 no. Something's wrong here because somebody who's actually charitable doesn't do that. Doesn't record themselves giving stuff away. Doesn't make a big deal of it. They just simply do what they got to do and they keep it pushing. And that's it. And that's the way, that's how you know somebody's legit charitable or humanitarian or whatever. This kind of shit is like, bro, come on. Exactly. It's weird. So Anyways. on the next one, yeah. we have we have this right here. So this is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> this cat he's is gonna, so He's going to make the jump. <laughs> nice. He should be on a, a so, fucking Olympic thing. For a second, this guy in the picture looks like the guy that's um. From, remember that girl that that was like, I think her name was like Elizabeth or something. That he was, she was always eating food, and her boyfriend was like, "You gotta stop eating, you gotta stop eating." Like, all right, the, tell really. me this dude don't look like one of the dudes from those like funny like relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, he looked like that. Guy. There's that one guy. He does yeah. the, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Ah, uh, fuck, I forgot the guy. I know name. what you're talking so about. So basically, yeah. this is it. Like, so go ahead, read this out loud. Trigger and warning. Please take the time to scroll and read this. Last night, my husband and I went to dinner for his birthday at Maggiano's Little Italy in Orlando, Florida. Unbeknownst to us, there had been a Trump rally in the area where he gave a speech just a few hours before. While driving to the restaurant, we came upon multiple rally attendees who were in the streets with their Trump 2024 signs and Confederate flags. We were both amused and worried. Not saying that happened next. What happened next was because of Trump. Just telling the story exactly how it unfolded. We continued on to the restaurant where we had reservations. We were greeted by a black male host when we got there, who was ready to see us right away. Then another hostess showed up, white female, who whispered to the male, "Well, they're gonna have to go to table one thirteen. He responded, saying, "Oh, okay." Then proceeded to take us to our table all the way in the back of the restaurant. We got to the table and I immediately noticed a stark contrast from the patrons in the front of the restaurant versus where we were being seated. Guys, I shit you not, this restaurant was segregated in 2021. Our minds were blown. While we wanted to leave because we couldn't believe what we were witnessing and being subjected to, our hunger from traveling all day without a single meal outweighed our shock of the moment. Needless to say, we sat there, watched people come and go, and yeah, they continued to seat black and brown folk in the back by the door. We made sure to document as much as we could because we didn't even think any anyone would believe us. But guys, this actually happened. If you stayed and read this post in its entirety, please share this story. <laughs> Okay, all right. Now that I know, because when you had told me, he told me briefly about this a little bit, but now that I actually read what what else happened before this, you know, she found herself and they found themselves in this situation, I see it from many different angles. Maybe, perhaps, because I like to play devil's advocate and I never... saw it from two different angles. No, no, no. <laughs> it's funny. No, that's not what I mean. I mean... I like to play devil's advocate. So, like, because of the rally, they could be taking, maybe they're prejudging or assuming that certain members of the rally would attend that restaurant, obviously, since it was nearby, and they were trying to prevent any issues. I don't know. It could be. They could be trying to say, hey, we'll just, which is wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying this is probably what the restaurant thought for some reason. Or they're like, oh, maybe, you know, whoever, uh, they're, they're, so, so for that, they got to classify who they feel would attend the Trump rally and then place you accordingly. So technically, they are segregating people because they're assuming things. But we don't know what their thought process is behind the seating. We don't know. 
So it's like, it's 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 heavy speculation. Like you can say it was the race card, you could say it was the Trump rally, you could say like, but you don't really. We don't know. We don't. We don't know. But like what I'm just saying is like, is that is that even like, is that even like that crazy? Like is that is that is that really quote unquote bad? What's going on? Um, it looked like people was enjoying themselves. Hey, it really did. I it looked like <laughs> people was just living their lives. Just yeah. they left their crib to go eat, and they're yeah. eating, and now they're gonna go home. Um, now one person they didn't want to get up, and they didn't want to say anything. All of them, nobody wanted to whisper to the table like, "You guys think we should like fucking say something? Like you can get some free food out of this yeah. or something." I nobody mean, wanted I feel to like, rally up, right? Like they want to go on. To IG be honest, to and, be honest, the only way you can actually see the truth in the situation is if you were like if they said hey uh seat them at table 113 no i want to sit over there yeah just say it yo say something like you then then if they say no then then now because now we're putting the shit on the table if you just say okay i'm gonna just sit on 113 because she said sit on 113 and then you're gonna sit and complain and then take videos no 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 before you get set at one thirteen, say no, no, no. I want to sit at table one. Yeah, like if you're smart enough to like notice what's going on or whatever, then like use that to your advantage. Like at least be like, yo, look, let me um, I'll sit here in the back, right? But uh, while I'll sit here in the back. I'll get some appetizers, but I want a real seat in the in the front. Right. I'll wait here till that seat. Don't right. matter. Like I'll get some appetizers. Right. Now if they be like, they say something to you, be like, yo, look, it's looking type segregated in here. So you know what I'm saying? Let's. Let's a little even this out real that's, quick. That's, Say some, you know what I'm saying? Right. Don't complain on IG after you ate the food. After you paid you, them their money. Well, for you probably gave them a tip and shit. Like, you know that's what, what like, I'm saying. That's why I, you know, I can't sit here. First of all, I'm not the type of person, and I'm sure you're not too, where you see something and like, ah, no. It's just like, all right, what is what is the reality of the situation? Like, what, you know what I mean? Because personally for me, if I know I got a problem with something, I'm not going to wait and just take it. I'm going to be like, wait a second. Like immediately I'm going to just say something. Cause if not, if I, cause I know that if I just wait and take it, that's on me. That's, that's, that's a me thing now yeah. because I just took it. Yeah. Like you went home and like, like dead wrote like a long paragraph with your picture evidence. Like you like undercover feds because, or something in here. Like, because from like the 1920s Because or if it was what, sh- what they said it was, the only way to prove that is to on the spot say yeah, no no like, no. Yo, That's the only it. way to yeah, prove like question anything. It or use it to your advantage. Or use it to your advantage. Exactly. Get something exactly. out of it or help yeah. everybody else out. They're like, yo, you better give everybody some free shots or something. Like yeah. free garlic bread for everybody's Because table. at that point, like, you know, these kinds of things that occur in society, first of all, they continue to occur because one, we make them a big deal all the time. Yeah, you could have just went home. And then two everybody looked like they were chilling. We're not willing to actually. This guy. He wants to. He swear. Excuse you, sir. You know if he would just like sit down and just chill out on the on the table, that'd be cool. But he, he probably wouldn't. All right. I guess he wants to be here, part yeah. of the show. But anyways, these things become such a big thing because we're not willing to actually say something when it matters. You say something after. And that it doesn't matter anymore after and not because now, because now you can you can only assume, you can only think, you can only prejudge on what you think XYZ. Like that was the perfect opportunity to be like, I don't want to go to 113. I'd like seat number 20, please. Or right, right there. Is, yeah. Or whatever that is. You know what I mean? Now, what they if they said it was so they said we were so hungry. However, what if all the other tables, cause at that point, so because I what saw if all the white folks just got there first. But that's what I'm saying. I was just like, wait a second. But what if when they had what? walked in, one thirteen was the only one open? But what if? Yeah, you know I'm saying like, yo, peep, peep game, I don't right? Know. What if they it's didn't say so like much. it was? A, let's just say there was all the white folks was at the Trump rally. Literally everybody's white is at the Trump rally, right? Well, fuckers come in, right? And then they're like, everybody, all the white folks, they come in and like before the rally, they were like, let's just close it down just in case shit gets crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once they open the rally, everybody's hungry. Yeah. They start bringing everybody in. Yeah. Now all the tables in the front, they're already like motherfucking yeah. seated and shit. Yeah. They're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, so. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Uh, It's a lot going on. You could have asked like, yo, uh, like, I kind of want to sit with the white folks. You could have just literally said that. Like, yeah. you know, stop trying to like, 
like sneak this other restaurants, even though like like you see how they run it. You Did don't they? Say can nothing. I can I check? Can you pull it up? I want to check if the restaurant has said anything. Yeah, the restaurant oh. says sorry for like the experience. Let me you, see. Uh, Let me see. I gotta see like this. That. Let me. Uh... Oh yeah, you want to be part of the podcast? I mean, they're sneaky, sneaky. Oh wow, they're real sus. Like they they took off all the comments. They took off all the comments. Now that's even sus. That's sus. And the rest, the restaurant had commented. But well, probably people commented like, "Well, you went there, motherfucker, taking pictures like it's the Gucci store and shit with the bags oh, of food." Oh, you mean on the couples page? Yeah. Oh no, they but disabled what? the comments. Ah. Uh, that's this thing I saw the restaurant comment on. Like, yo, sorry for what happened to you. Can I see the restaurant though? Can you show me the restaurant just to get Let's a feel it. for the page? It's an Italian restaurant. Um. No. Put your ass down if you want to be part of the podcast. None of this. Italian food and stuff like this. Oh, that looks so good. Italian <laughs> food is good too over there. Motherfuckers was chilling, bro. They didn't mm. give a fuck, bro. Not want to go. Shit. <laughs> Down South food came out of segregation. Motherfucking. Oh, but now everybody's in the comments like segregation, blah, blah, blah. No, but that's just because the motherfuckers is like now, like because you went on IG and you went into your own bubble and you set it within your own bubble, so it goes a little bigger than like actual people that are like really there at the restaurant. This is crazy. Show us like, a picture of the scene. No, 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 no. Real shit. Like it's hard enough for restaurants to bring motherfuckers in, and then motherfuckers don't want to complain to the manager no more. Now they want to go on IG and just run up the fucking check on. But these the niggas, restaurant like. should make a post addressing this because now their comments are just. Blooded with segregation and blah blah blah. blah, blah. So they have to actually. The restaurant is doing a bad job at not at backing at, themselves up. They need to actually air it out. Say the truth. Just say the truth and then ride whatever the truth is. If you racist and if you segregating your restaurant, say it. If you're not, say it. But now you look sus by not addressing the elephant in the room. Now you look sus and now it's like blah, blah, blah. but I mean at the same time now they're getting more attention. So it's like, it's weird. You don't know because like um. They are getting more attention. If they, I think if they just stay quiet, it kind of literally goes away. I would go there just to. It doesn't go away. It's not gonna go away. Just to see where they would seat me. <laughs> just go there with you, just to see where we end up at. Like you, mad light skin, and niggas are confused. <laughs> they said, "Where do you want to be seated at?" They just asked you that shit. Now. Like, where do you want to sit at? I'm like, where do you want to seat me at? <laughs> I'm like, put me with the others, dog. They got a spot okay. outside for us. Bro, just sit me with the aliens. Sure. <laughs> come for this Italian food, right? They're like, oh, this is the only spot you get to eat with your own people at. This is fire. <laughs> no lie, that's like fire. It's like an air. Holy it's like, shit. I don't you know, You want to feel man. like you're back home? It's crazy. I don't know. I think we just... Honestly, bro, I just want us to all move away from this fucking thing and just can we just learn how to coexist on this damn planet already? Like I'm so tired of this. Shit. Stop, stop bitching on IG. Go to the manager. Go to say something. Go get something out of this shit situation. Yeah, like, get some at, the, at, the, at, the, at the at the at the moment from the restaurant. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Don't try to like do anything. I'm not gonna say. Uh, it looks bad on the restaurant now, but I don't think yeah. it's, it's that heavy bad on the restaurant. Like, it seemed like the people that actually go to the restaurant and pay had no problem with what the fuck was going mm. on. And uh, these people look like they had no problem with, with what was going on over there. So, like... Everybody just has to address things properly. That's what it is. Like, as a customer, if you have a problem on the spot, you better say it. As a restaurant, you receive some say, backlash. I don't think they, I don't think they really, really had a problem. It's just like the clout really got to them. I think yeah. the moment for like clout really got into their heads. Like, yeah. there's not no bad review on Yelp or anything. It's like crazy. Like, I mean, they went bad on it. But to be honest, like, I don't know if the restaurant is not saying anything because of lawyers. Um, they could have a legal team. That's true. Yeah. So, but they we'll could. find out. But that's, we'll see. But that's been it for this uh, episode. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you for tuning in and watching. Our little podcast is, uh, is steadily growing. I'm very happy. Yes, sir. Then, All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And it's uh, wait for the next one. Thank you. Comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Boom. Hit the like button. See you guys later.